There's a certain pride in being a Bostonian. As someone that likes art and culture, there is nothing that I cannot find here. There is a tremendous diversity. I remember the first time that I walked by the public garden. It was beautiful then and it's still beautiful now. And there's a monument there that we helped refurbish, dedicated to the uh, introduction of anesthesia, which took place here in Boston. I first came to Boston in January of 1983 after having completed an internship in internal medicine. I applied to several cities across the country to begin my training in anesthesiology. And I was fortunate enough that I, uh, I was elected by Dr. Marcel Willock, who was among the very first individuals of color to lead an academic department. And that was a, uh, a seminal event because she influenced significantly the way I viewed racial relations and disparities in healthcare and gender issues and many other aspects of, of diversity and inclusion. I was one of the very few uh, individuals that spoke Spanish and I have never experienced any major issues related to my race and my ethnicity. Boston is a, such a fertile ground. When you come here, you are in one of the richest milieus of intellectual and professional and educational development. It was always known as a center for education, research, and medical care, but over the last 30 years that I have been here, the explosion has been tremendous. And there are so many areas where biotechnology and other research takes place that sometimes benefits directly the patients. What I love about Boston the most is working at Boston Medical Center. It is such a uh, heterogeneous and diverse environment. Every day is a new experience, which is enriching from the quality of the educational methods that we develop, the research and the care that we give our patients. This is home for me. I found my career here, and I really cannot think of too many other environments where I would rather be spending my life both professionally and as, and as a citizen.